because food habits condition our well-being, eating wise is a big step towards peace and harmony. Total health brings us closer to living in harmony. Harmony leads to peace. Namaste friends, Tita Shai for Eating Wise. Thank you very much for dropping by this channel and spending a few moments of your precious life watching what may be relevant or what may be of help to you. I am now in Vaikuntha Forest Farms and you will hear the sound of crickets and other stuff and there will be occasional insects trying to be in the camera as well. Anyway, Eating Wise is about wise food choices for body, mind and soul. Food for tummy, food for thought, and food for the soul. Many pounds ago, when my hair wasn't even this color yet, and Mr. Google didn't rule our lives, I used to write a column for t 10 years or more at the Philippine broadsheet Malaya newspaper with the same title. All the ideas and thoughts and essays written then were as relevant then as they are now. Such is truth timeless, universal. And so I thought, hey, why not? An Eating Wise channel, here we are. When we think eating, we think of food, naturally. Food is a whole universe that cannot be disconnected from a host of other things. You see, of all man's propensities, eating rules. Because who in this world doesn't spend a day without eating at least once and if you multiply this once by seven or however many billions of people there are in the world then you can see it is quite a major factor in world balance and i don't mean the shoes when we think eat we think food of course and food is connected to nature, planting, farming, seeds, sunlight, water, rain, sunshine, philosophy, environment, uh, care, concern, weather, and health, love, uh, peace of mind, and life, basically. Eating wise covers all that and more. Listen to all the little creatures that share this space with me. You'll be seeing them or hearing them too. Stay tuned for insights, ideas, and recipes, and adventures. It's not all about eating on this Eating Wise channel. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po. Namaste. There are many cool things about living in a farm or in the mountains or close to nature. And one of the coolest is that you will never run out of food. And you will be amazed, surprised, and maybe even shocked at how much out there are edible, nourishing, and delish. A lot of what grows around by Kunta Forest Farm are foods we're familiar with, and there are probably even a lot more that we're not too familiar with. There is an infinite variety of foods that nourish, foods that are great to eat and easy to grow. How wonderful is it to have a plate full of garden and to have close by your healing, nourishing and strengthening plant medicines as well.
there are a lot of low profile foods around that are powerhouses in disguise. One such food is cassava, also known as kamoteng kahoy, balangay, tapioca, balinghoy, manioc, and more. Around for thousands of years as a staple in South America and Asia, cassava has been used by over 800 million people worldwide as a key part of their diet. While in urban Philippines, we don't pay them much attention, but in most rural areas, cassava is a major player in the regimen. It's a no-fuss, easy-to-grow crop, and it's cheap. Often overlooked, though, is the nutrition it offers. Today, we are going to get young kamote and kahoy, or cassava leaves which we are going to use for lunch. When people say cassava, they usually think of the tubers, but today we'll explore a common native dish using leaves instead. Natives here call it potanger, but it sounds too much like a bad word in Filipino vernacular, so I decided to call it cassava nova. Nova is a star that increases brightness for a while and then goes back to normal, go figure. And here is Lady May. Hello, Lady May. Alika dito, Jeremy. So you only choose the young leaves here on up top. Because if you get the older leaves and you cook them, it's going to scratch your throat. You don't want that. See, as long as it feels soft, it's fine. Aside from these, tubers and leaves also have vitamins A and E, phosphorus, iron, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, sodium, and chloride ions. The leaves abound with antioxidants, flavonoids, saponins, and lignans. Oh, and you know, cassava is a source of resistant starch reputed to boost gut health by nurturing beneficial gut bacteria. Last but certainly not least is cassava's reputation as having loads of vitamin B17, a super duper anti-cancer agent. Pretty cool, yeah? So getting the young leaves like this, the shoots, what they call talbos, it doesn't harm the, the fruit, you know, the root. Ta-da! Wait, here's more. The leaves are an amazingly well-rounded food medicine. They've helped in the treatment of measles, smallpox, chickenpox, and skin rashes. A compress of powdered leaves can help lower fever and ease headaches. Leaf sap latex can also be used for different eye problems. They have anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. The leaves may be cooked after freshly picked or dried first. They have also been known to decrease worms and parasitic infections and have helped stop diarrhea and hemorrhoids. And guess what? The leaves extract is also reportedly good against plant pests.
whatever it's called, it remains a beautiful dish of cassava leaves simmered in coconut milk for a very long time and will give you lots of protein and iron and goodness. Ready!